crucial final vote on how much the city should spend to help migrants. Why the mayor wants 70 more million dollars than the city's already spending. And we're tracking the latest rash and robberies in the city. We've got more on the very specific type of business being targeted. And later on this hour, a team pairing rescue dogs from kill shelters with local veterans. They're expanding. We're live in Bolingbrook with how you can help. Happening today, final vote on Mayor Brandon Johnson's proposal to spend millions more taxpayer dollars helping migrants. The full Chicago City Council is set to meet this afternoon. CBS News Mugo Odigwe is live with us right now and gives us the latest information. Mugo. Yeah, good morning to you, Brad. So this final vote was actually supposed to happen on Wednesday, but it was delayed until today. The mayor is asking for an additional $70 million. Now, that $70 million is in addition to the $150 million the city has already budgeted to care for migrants this year alone. The mayor's office had previously said it wouldn't be enough for the entire year, which is why they are now asking the council to approve $70 million more. We should note, as announced back in February, both Governor J.B. Pritzker and Cook County President Tony Preckwinkle are investing a combined $250 million to help fund the migrant crisis. As for the additional $70 million the city council is voting on today, it's expected to help provide shelter and other services to thousands. And black folks can't get reparations and y'all out here defending migrants? <laughs> Sad day for black African Americans. Of migrants. That vote is expected to happen at 12.45 this afternoon, so really in just a few hours, and we'll let you know of the outcome. We're live in the control room. we we'll Digwe, CBS 2 News. And as the city prepares for that spending vote, Cook County commissioners unanimously approved giving up to $70 million in additional money to Chicago to help feed asylum seekers. The county is reallocating those funds, which were originally budgeted for health care to migrants, but the okay didn't come without debate among commissioners. Earlier in the week, Cook County leaders expressed concerns over a lack of oversight. Once that money gets handed to the city, the county's chief financial officer assured the board the county will require invoices and other documentations before reinvoicing the city for expenses. The DuPage County Board is accused of uh, the clerk of not following the law while spending hundreds of thousands of dollars of taxpayer dollars. The Daily Herald reports the money was allegedly used by Gene Kazmarek for mailers and informational pamphlets ahead of the primary election, but they were issued as two no-bid contracts in a letter signed by all eight board members. They requested a discussion on this matter at their next board meeting. They also said the clerk was refusing to follow legal advice from their state's attorney. Now we kick it outside to a live look outside.